The way of the West has a unique dynamic all of its own. And to capture those moments from the intense and dramatic to the quiet and subtle has been a life's dream come true for world-renowned Western artist Paul Van Ginkle. I was born in Winnipeg in 1960 and then moved with my family to Calgary in 1973. And when I was 13 years old, that's when I saw my first Calgary Stampede and I was fascinated with cowboys and Indians. And so when I became a, an artist and had to find my subject matter, it was natural for me to choose that subject. You may see my technique, if you will, is, is relatively loose and free. And I find that is sort of compatible with, with the horse, which I feel is powerful, passionate, free, you know, wild manes and tails and so on. So to paint that in my natural way of painting, I find really quite satisfying. One of the many considerations for a painter, in addition to uh, the subjects they choose, is the size. You know, my average painting is probably you know, 40 inches by 60 inches, which certainly is considered you know, larger than average. But the reason for that is because I feel my subjects are large, if you will. So I want to present them in an aggressive way and also scale of the painting has a lot to do with it. Um, all my work is photo-based. And what that means is I rely on photographs that I take. I choose images and subject matters and so on that are very, very passionate and, and pleasing to me. And in the case of the Western imagery, like the painting I'm working on now, I'll go anywhere for this material. I'll go to different locations, whether it be throughout Western Canada, down to the United States, of which I travel to on a regular basis, and meet up with these cowboys and First Nations uh, models and so on, and spend some time with them, do some sketching, um, usually just take a lot of photographs. So, I mean, I'll go down to these different locations and over the course of three days, I'd take upwards of four or 5,000 photographs and then edit through them and um, choose the images that I think are worthy of being painted. Frankly, I like business side of art and I like the challenge of promoting and marketing and selling my work and further to that I mean I love meeting the customer if I ever have an opportunity to meet somebody who is interested and subsequently buys a painting I mean that's an honor it's a thrill and you know, like a lot of people at my exhibitions and when I have them over to see my work of course they would like to know what my story is behind the piece and even though I, I do tell them to a degree I don't sort of give it all away if you will I want them to create their own story because that's what's most important. Because art, whether it be photographs or paintings, in my view, again, is just a trigger, you know, for the viewer to go into their own imagination. There are 85 or 90 paintings I average a year. Everyone that leaves my studio and goes into the marketplace, I have to be proud of and I'll never abandon a painting. I'll stick with it until I am proud of it and I let it go. But that said, every now and then, you know, there's a painting that I create that I want to keep. And one can never say forever, but there are some paintings, paintings I've kept for 15 years. This particular piece here certainly was one of my favorite paintings. I was commissioned by the Calgary Stampede to paint the 2007 Stampede poster. And certainly it's something I have always wanted to do and considered, you know, the, the pinnacle of Western art. So it's a very simple image, as you can see, um, very clean design, no border treatment, and uh, that was my painting. And the original painting is 40 inches by 60 inches, which is about the average size painting I create. A lot of people say, uh, you know, you must be born with it or something. I mean. I think you're born probably with the inspiration, really. But like most things, it's an acquired skill. You know, if I compare my first painting to this one, I like to think I've come a little ways, you know. And with every one you do, you want to learn something and hopefully get a little better. But one of the many, many wonderful things about being a, an artist, a painter, is I'll never retire. I've always got something to do. I'm always inspired to create, and uh, it's a wonderful thing to do, really. 
and to do it for a living is, is a real thrill.